there's a lot going on. We got two lorries delivering stuff for the house. And as you can see, I hope you can see, we had a well drilled. The water supply to the house, particularly at peak times, is awful. If you try to shower at seven o'clock, you've got to wait ages for the pressure to trigger the uh, shower unit. Our house is going to have three bathrooms, so clearly we need water. I'd anticipated this uh, because I'd stayed in the house before. The thing is that this land was used as a well for the whole village. And then when the council put water in here, they, for some strange reason, they decided to fill the well in and just use the council water. I think uh, if it had been down to me at the time, I would have kept both, but there we are. Anyway, um, the major steelwork for the house, uh, the supporting of the roof itself has been done. And now if you look, you can see the underside of the roof on this side has I don't know if it's showing up properly steelwork has been put in place and that is the steelwork on which the tiles will actually sit without falling onto the ground hopefully um, we had another delivery a couple of days ago of the red bricks and you can see these are the bricks that are ordinarily used uh, for Thai house construction. We are using the Q blocks because the Q blocks are aerated and they um, act as insulation. The little red blocks that you see there we are only using them for toilets. Uh, the reason is they are more water resistant than the Q blocks and uh, they're quite easy to put up as you can see. We have lived in a house which was, had walls of that material and what happens is during the daytime the sun shines on it but at night instead of the wall being cool it's actually hot and it radiates heat into the house so the house uh, absolutely needs fans or air conditioning. There's no prospect of the house being cool when you use the red bricks as the major material in the construction of walls. At the moment um, we have two lorries delivering stuff. I'm not quite sure what they are. I go and have a look now. Uh, we are expecting a delivery of concrete at four o'clock so that the well tower will be constructed. We have a 2000 litre tank. The idea being that we use one pump to get the water from underground and that fills the tank. And then we have another tank, another, another pump rather, which goes and pumps the water into the house when a tap is turned on. It senses the drop in pressure and the pump kicks in. I originally wanted gravity fed water, but having looked into it, it would cost to be enormous and the tower would need to be somewhere in the region of 30 feet high for it to work efficiently. I don't know with the camera I can actually see In the corners, four corners, there's steelwork put in in readiness for the concrete to come. And then the top layer, uh, it will be stable. We need people's steel pumps all over the world, I expect, not just Thailand. So when this is constructed, the tank itself will sit at about two meters off the ground. But the pumps, one pump will be near it and there will be a protective shield around both tank and pump uh, so that they don't get pinched. Simple as that. Uh, that's that. 
here you can see some block work has been done on one bedroom they're very very quick doing the laying of the bricks themselves unlike the UK where lintels would be bought ordinarily uh, metal ones here they make them in situ by that I mean they put a length of wood across the top then they put shuttering either side inside that they put steel reinforcement and then they put concrete on top so that the lintels are made of concrete and um, they put in for two purposes well one purpose for the blocks to sit on top of them and be held up properly and you know it's, it's simple as that uh, yesterday they, they're making the lintels as they go along they're not having one day obviously they, the lintels need to be in the correct position yesterday they made a lintel for the front door and uh, there we are we're gonna see now what these people are unloading for us I should mention that this video is my first ever attempt at 4k I am gonna clue how it's gonna turn out there's our tank it's 2,000 litres the difficulty with having a water system like this is that if we have a power cut we don't get water either so that's something to bear in mind for anybody contemplating building a house out here we got up early yesterday to take our dog to the University Hospital in Konkan I had no difficulty showing at 6 o'clock but hard work at 7 o'clock in the morning so it swings and roundabouts um, you have to bear cost in mind a high gravity fed water supply using a tower will be very ugly and ours is hidden behind the, the back of the house it'll work a lot of Thai people have got to put up with a lot more inconvenience than I'm likely to put up with so that's it I don't know what this stuff is that's coming off. It's the tiles. It's the tiles. We weren't expecting them till the 20th. Wow. Well, so we've got everything we need to be going on. The only thing we haven't got that I mentioned in previous videos is the ubiquitous blue pipe. Our well is set at a depth of just under 30 meters, which means that we don't need to register it with anybody our water is free here are the red bricks here are the tiles I say it's great to see them here as soon and you can see the extent of the block work that's been done all the workers are good no question we lost three brilliant ones but the one man what we've had as a replacement he's marble man he's absolutely fantastic gone six o'clock last night like other nights we were in the house and we could see flashes of light as he was welding in the dark he's just absolutely brilliant there's no health and safety type situations out here they're balancing on anything if they fell they could easily be killed uh, I've got used to it now, I'm not as nervous watching them as I was before but of course you're always hoping nothing untoward happens to them while I'm over here, I'll look, I mentioned a few days ago that we made the steps, or they made the steps in the dark if you look to the second step, or the first step down you'll see it very very uneven there but that will be remedied, that presumably is the step that collapsed in the dark and they had to prop it up some sort of shape uh, there's a hive of activity as you can see two lorries we've had another lorry are we expecting yet another lorry at four o'clock to deliver the concrete for the tower base that's it there's the people unloading all the tiles didn't expect it again the metal work for the tower like the metal work for our roof is coated so as to prevent it rusting 
it's not top quality steel. It's probably the same in the UK. It might even be better than the stuff we uh, flogged in the UK. The building standards appear to have gone down rapidly during my lifetime. So without grizzling too much about that, I'll, I'll shut up. Um, you can see that uh, these were silver when they came to us and now they're jet black. On the floor, if you can see it, these are the things that have to be welded into place in order to support the tiles. There's two of our resident workers over there. Or four of them. I can just see, you couldn't see the other two, they're there. And they're waiting for the tires to come off. In this box, these boxes, there's sticky stuff, which helps with putting the tires on the roof. I'd like to see what that does. Behind it, you'll see this reflective silver-coated stuff that is put below the roof, acts as insulation and reflects heat so that um, it's going to be a black roof I don't think black uh, absorbs any heat any more than any other colour that we can get obviously you can't get bright white as, uh, as a roof colour and uh, here are Toy's start of the garden flowers both our dogs are in the house in the, in the cool and there we are. Nothing much else to say. Next time I'll update we'll have had the water tower built. Chalk D is over there together with Toys Car which is under wraps. I've looked at YouTube reviews of cars and I'm afraid to say that a great many of them have been made by people who are more interested in putting themselves forward than looking at the car itself particularly my car where people have made a lot of stupid complaints about what's wrong with it all I can tell you is I've driven loads of cars uh, this is up there with the very best it's got a three litre engine it can drive through three feet of water its acceleration is great when it's driven as an automatic but if I use it as a manual it's even better it does 11.8 kilometers to a litre which is over 34 to the gallon, which is fantastic through the three litre engine. Uh, this is, I haven't shown much of this before. This is the old house. It's traditional type tie with concrete base, wood up the top. Unfortunately, the staircase there is so steep that I've never been upstairs and I'm never going to try to go upstairs. We are thinking what to do with the old house. Uh, I want to knock it down completely. Ty and her mother want to sort of rescue it to an extent uh, by having a sala downstairs and two bedrooms upstairs. I don't like the idea of having guests here and making them climb upstairs. I think if I invite guests here, and we will be, that there should be a degree of comfort. I don't think anybody wants to come to us and have to, you know, have to work hard in order to get to a bedroom. So, there's a lot going on. Oh, two lorries delivering tiles. Uh, oh, we had another guy come here just delivering bits and bobs. Uh, nothing else to say. I mentioned the lintels. They are working very hard. It seems likely that we're going to have a boost with the number of workers quite soon because they they want to keep their jobs. Uh, the owner of the company came yesterday and he's got work lined up. So they, they haven't raced and done anything wrong with the building of our building. And... Um, it's good for us because they tell us now they may finish in early February. If you look at other YouTube videos, you'll see that some people are congratulating themselves when they've had the house built in two years. Well, I'd go absolutely mental if I had to wait two years for a house to be built. I mean, I don't think I'd have bothered. And uh, the stress is involved. 
there's been minimal stress involved with this because the people who are doing the work are so nice. They get on great together. Uh, I bought them another ice cream today. Possibly buy them a, a Chang beer each tonight. Everything is, is going nicely. Um, I mentioned earlier our little dog needs an operation on his mouth and we're taking him in uh, next Friday, which I believe is the 22nd. So the Christmas present I want is my little dog back home for Christmas. And uh, that's it. Sadly, a good friend of mine passed away in Wales just over a week ago. Obviously, I can't go to the funeral. I won't name him. Again, anybody who knows me will know exactly who it is. It's had a big effect on me. Not only am I upset by his passing, but um, it's made me realise my own mortality, that I need to live a bit more than I am. Though it's essential that we finish this house and when we have, we'll be toddling off to see different things in Thailand. And hopefully having what is essentially a holiday for the rest of my life. Another friend died about 18 months ago. That had an effect on me, but nothing is, nothing as big an effect as what's happened recently to me. And uh, I just got to try and enjoy life a bit more, I think. I, uh, that'll be my advice to anybody listening to this. Just uh, get on with it. And if things go wrong, well, I had bloody luck, innit? You know. Okay, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll bring you up to date uh, when the tower is made and I can anticipate uh, reasonable progress before Christmas with the house itself. Okay, bye.